स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए पोलन ग्रेन द पोलन ग्रेन रिप्रेजेंट द मेल गैमिटोफाइट्स एज द एंथर मेच्योर एंड डीहाइड्रेट द माइक्रोस्पोर्स डिसोशिएट फ्रॉम ईच अदर एंड डेवलप इन टू द पोलन ग्रेन सेवरल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन्स आर फॉर्म दट आर रिलीज विथ द डेहिजेंस ऑफ एंथर पोलन ग्रेन्स आर इन डिफरेंट साइज शेप्स कलर्स एंड डिजाइन्स पोलन ग्रेन्स हेज ए प्रॉमिनेंट टू लेयर्ड वाल नेमली द हार्ड आउटर लेयर कॉल्ड एक्सइन आर एक्सोस्पोरियम एंड इनर लेयर कॉल्ड इंटेन आर एंडोस्पोरियम एक्सइन वाल इज थिक एंड प्रोटेक्टिव and may have spinous ornamentation and made up of a substance called sporopollenin it is most resistant organic material it can withstand high temperatures strong acids and alkali no enzyme that degrades sporopollenin is so far known exane has prominent apertures called germ pores where sporopollenin absent germ pores are circular places found on exine wall pollen grains are well preserved as fossils because of the presence of sporopollenin the exine exhibit fascinating array of pattern and designs next intine wall intain layer is thin and continuous layer it is made up of cellulose and pectin that is pectocellulose the pollen grain consists of centrally located nucleus and dense cytoplasm the cytoplasm of pollen grain is surrounded by a plasma membrane when the pollen grain is mature it contains two cells namely the vegetative cell and generative cell the vegetative cell is bigger and has abundant food reserve and a large irregularly shaped nucleus the generative cell is small spindle shaped with dense cytoplasm and nucleus in over 60% of angiosperms pollen grains are shed at this two celled stage the liberated pollen grains germinate after reaching the stigma in the remaining species the generative cell divides mitotically to gives rise to the two male gametes before pollen grains are shed that is three celled stage